Hello, and welcome to the first episode of Nin Chronicles, the show dedicated to covering Nintendo's entire game library. Today, we'll be digging in to Mole Mania for the Game Boy. Yeah, that's right. Terrible puns before the intro even happens. That's what kind of show this is going to be, so you better buckle up. Usually, when you see people recommend an underrated Nintendo game, Mole Mania is the go-to pick. Of all the games Miyamoto has worked on, you could say that this is his most well-known, least-known work. Um, uh, yeah. Released in the summer of 96 in Japan, with the rest of the world following up a year later, Mole Mania tells the story of Muddy Mole, no relation to Monty, as he tries to rescue his family from the evil farmer Jinbei, who has apparently grown tired of Muddy's family stealing his- OH MY GOD! What the heck was that? It's only the first episode we're dealing with that kind of violence? How long did we last? What does it stay down there? Uh. Anyway, Jinbei's farm is so huge that it's sectioned off into eight different levels under the name of Jinbei Land. I guess he's going for a theme park scheme here? He could really work on his marketing. Jinbei Land! Bring your kids so I can steal them! So here's the cool bit. Being a mole, Muddy can dig underground, which adds an extra layer of navigation. It's also a handy way to bypass any obstacles or terrain that are blocking Muddy from getting his family back. And sometimes, you'll even find hidden exits to whole new areas underground. Want to avoid fighting bad guys for a while? Take safety underground and peek out to study their walk cycles. The levels in Jinbei Land are set up, uh, kind of like 2D Zelda dungeons, actually. There's even items hiding around, like a map, a radar, a potion, and the ability to give up. Well, that's encouraging. Every room has a puzzle to solve, and that puzzle is getting this giant ball over to that giant slab of concrete at the end. I'm not really sure what this ball is. Maybe it's a bomb? Whatever it is, don't let it fall into the holes, or else it's just going to end up back where you found it. Once you've successfully wrecked an area of Jinbei's farm, the room is completely cleared up. Clearing a room also basically gives you free reign of the level, which makes it a lot easier to go and take some alternate paths, as well as rushing back to the rest area to get your health back up. You know, speaking of the rest area, there's an old mole that runs those things. Who is that guy? He's on the box, he's in the intro, but is he even part of the family? He helps out with the tutorials, but he just signs with his picture. No hey son, or anything like that. Is he just some lonely old man who wants attention? You know, maybe if I talk to him some more, I'll get some backstory. Um, maybe he'll warm up to me if I try again? Yikes! Well, if you want to try getting answers from him, go right ahead. There's also bonus areas in every level where Muddy and Jinbei have a little showdown. The idea is to steal all of Jinbei's cabbage before the time runs out. He'll be smacking the ground everywhere, either making holes or filling them back up, and if he hits Muddy, you'll lose precious seconds off the clock. More often than not, you might not even have to do any of the work in these levels because Jinbei makes a lot of the holes himself which helps you steal his crops faster. What a sucker. So what else can Muddy do besides digging up holes? He can charge up to roll stuff. If you want to get rid of the bad guys before clearing the room, this would be the way to do it. Look, he can even do it backwards, too. Coming soon, Mole WrestleMania. There's also cabbage to collect. The primary motivation for doing this is that for every five, you get a little piece of heart back. The secondary motivation is that you're depriving Jinbei of his crops. Like that little child napper really deserves all that cabbage, uh. Oh yeah, you can also use the cabbage to kill people. I guess you were right, Mom. Cabbages will destroy my greatest rivals. Barrels will plug up holes, which will help you get the ball across some of the more treacherous territory. But for as much as they help, they're also kind of a pain, because uh, once you put them in a hole, they're kind of stuck in the ground. Sometimes they block a route you might have needed. Whoops, can't go that way anymore. Weights and elbow pipes will also be useful in getting the ball to the exit. And they also have their own problems, because both of those things can only be pushed, never pulled. Not even Muddy has the strength to suplex these things. Once you get through a good chunk of the rooms, you'll be treated with a boss battle. Jinbei has some nasty foes working on his payroll, like a kangaroo, a weight, and the sun! After you rescue your first kid, the game opens up quite a bit. The next six levels are available to play in any order. And, of course, you have to beat all of these before even being allowed into level 8, where Jinbei's final challenge awaits. I should also mention that this game has a multiplayer mode. 
Unfortunately, I can't speak from experience here as I've played the game without a link cable. I'm also missing a friend. Research indicates, however, that the multiplayer mode was based on the bonus game with one player controlling Muddy and the other Jinbei. It basically sounds like a more unfair version of Whack-A-Mole. In the end, Mole Mania is a really cool little game that was most likely overshadowed for not having a recognizable cast of characters. And also because that shiny new Nintendo 64 it just hit. I really like how the levels are sort of like less complicated Zelda dungeons. And the levels clearing out when you solve them, that's also pretty cool. They're basically just empty husks with a boss rematch if you ever perfect them, but, you know, if you haven't gone for 100% yet, well, it's a lot easier to get back to where you were. If you want to try this game out for yourself, it's available for the Virtual Console on 3DS systems everywhere. And, just like the box says, I think you'll dig Mole Mania. All right, one down. Only 1,133 more games to go.